What is up guys, Brian Elliott here and back for another tutorial with my dog Allie. <laughs> um, so today I'm going to be tackling lightsabers the way that I did them in my short film, The Way of the Jedi. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And all right, so here we are in After Effects of what we're going to be creating. Let's go over to our sample here. And we've got this nice little animation going on here. Looks really good. So it's a pretty simple process, just a time consuming one. We go up here to new and then we go to new solid and create a white solid. We will call this solid saber. Since we've only got one, don't need to label it too crazy. Then turn it off and go to where the first frame starts and start that. And then we're going to grab the pen tool. And in this case, I'm going to draw four points. But if you want to add some extra shape to the ends of your saber, you could add some extra points here and some extra points here to kind of round that out a little bit. All right. So next we're going to go ahead and hit M for mask and going to hit the stopwatch for that mask path because it really would be real sad if uh, we lost all of our work because we didn't uh, keyframe it. And here's where we're just going to have to do the slow, steady, boring, um, moving all of our points each frame. There's really not a way to fast track this, unfortunately. Two hours later. All right, so now let's go ahead and turn on that layer, see what we got. All right, that is looking fantastic. But obviously, uh, this is not what a lightsaber looks like. We got some more work to do ahead of us. So what we do is we hit Command or Control D to duplicate this layer four times. We've got five total layers. And then hit F to bring up the mask feathering. And here we uh, are going to make the first layer 120 and then basically half it every single layer. So 60, 30, 15, and this last one I like to do five. And basically what this does for us is it creates that nice soft uh, sort of feathered glow that we want for our saber that really makes it look good kind of it, it takes it from just looking like a really hard edge stick with a little bit of glow to this nice energy uh, sword. So next we'll go ahead and pre-compose all this and then we will go into our pre-composition layer new solid and this one we want to be a black solid because this will allow us if we drag it down to the bottom to go back into our main layer do blending mode screen and then from here now we can color our saber if you don't go through that step uh, you cannot actually color it to make the just the edges glow it gets kind of weird and funky we want just the standard color balance here. We go ahead and drop that on there. And then we can do something like Hue 100, Green 50, which is the look that I used for the film. Now, some things I wanna point out, let's go ahead and turn this off. Um, that can really help your, your composite in the actual final um, edit is we used LED sabers, so we've got the glow that's uh, reflecting off of her face. You can see it kind of right there 
Uh, it's, it's real subtle because we're in the, the light, but um, it makes a big difference if you go from here to there, you can see that light, which just adds that little bit of extra interaction and realism to make it, once you turn that saber on, make it really feel like, okay, we are, this is real. Now, the thing to note about that, obviously, is you want to decide your saber color before getting into post-production because it looked kind of funky. If say we turn those off and then we do red 100, we've got this blue glow on her face and a red saber, it doesn't really work. Uh, so that's definitely where we're planning on set. Works really well for that kind of nice matching glow. So that's really it. It's a really simple technique. It's just a time consuming technique, but I hope that you guys found this super quick, super helpful, and I'll catch all of you in the next one.